All right, so this is actually a really important step. We did want to have a look at the environments and the characters, but really now we're at the story stage. So there's two parts to this assignment. The probably the most important part is the previs section, but really we'd like to situate your your scene within the the context of a larger story. So what we've got here in this document is a lot of resources to help you uh, get going. Uh, in particular, this story from uh, Pixar is really a good uh, place to start. Uh, you know, so you know in the in this video they talk about tell me what happened and that's what a story is we tell stories every day and often we don't lay them out in uh, in a in a movie format but if I ask you what happened this weekend tell me about it well that's a story so what we want to do is based on the environment and maybe some inspiration you had looking at the characters tell me what's happened in that environment and that story so start putting out a rough outline uh, and what I've done is I've also included a story structure and this is the story structure that uh, Pixar uses so you know we don't want to say in our story once upon a time but it's like once there was a, you know an evil zombie and every day this zombie woke up and was all alone one day he found a zombie princess because of that he felt hope because of that he wanted to make a better life for himself until finally the forces of evil came and destroyed uh, the castle and you could elaborate. So, you know, I'm just showing an example of how the story and that really is a story structure. So what we want our the students to do is come up with a large idea, a big idea that is kind of like uh, this. What we're going to do is pick one of those. So maybe uh, our uh, previs is we're going to take okay well we're going to create the scene when the zombie met the princess zombie and so that's the previs we're going to do we're just going to do one short scene so because that's what a previs is is it's uh, a way to showcase uh, a story in, within a 3d environment and so we can kind of hash out the, the the camera scenes hash out how we record it uh, and this is very flexible and it's a very powerful tool and so but in this stage all we want to do is lay out the story and what i would encourage teachers to do is make sure that the students have an idea if ever they're not sure you could tell them to inspire themselves off one of their favorite books or movies and you know loosely uh, use the same plot line and maybe there's a scene in that movie or or story that they would like to recreate and therefore what they could do is just write out the rough outline of that right here and in the next uh, stage, we're going to talk about the previs. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. Take time to watch the, the videos. Uh, there's a video here that elaborates further on the story structure. And there are a lot of videos here that talk about character development and so on. Uh, but we're trying to keep it simple. Uh, we already have our characters. Uh, you pick them in the Mixamo stage. You have an environment. Uh, if, you, if your idea changes your environment, just go back to Unreal Marketplace, change it, choose a new environment. If you decide to change your character, now it's not too late. Still lots of time because in, uh, in the next stage or two, we're going to start building. And at that point, it's, gonna, it's getting a little bit late. So really what we're trying to do is plan. So this is a pre-production of our, of our, of our previs. So the planning is so critical and usually what I do is I do not let students go to the next stage until this is done until they met with me and I also recommend if you like uh, that they share it with a peer before they bring it to you that's a very useful tip and uh, that way they can kind of uh, fix it and improve it before it gets to the teacher desk and I, d I usually give the final approval all right so thank you very much and good luck